This tutorial will teach you how to edit part of an image using Adobe Photoshop. The first tool we're going to look at is the Marquee tool. If you click on this tool, you'll notice that a bunch of different options pop up. Let's start with the rectangular marquee. Make sure that you've selected the layer that contains the part of the image you want to edit. Then, click and drag on the image. Now, you can apply styles just to that part of the image in the box that you've created. For instance, you can add a filter to that area. You can also do a number of other things, including adding a border to the area, blurring the image, or simply deleting the area. The Marquee tool is pretty handy for editing specific parts of an image. The next tool we're going to look at is the Lasso tool. The Lasso tool is located here, just below the Marquee tool. The Lasso tool has pretty much the same uses as the Marquee tool. However, there's one important difference. With the Lasso, you draw your own selection area. Once you've selected that area, you can edit it the same way you did with the Marquee tool. If you click and hold on the icon below the Lasso tool, you'll see two options appear, the Quick Selection tool and the Magic Wand tool. Both of these tools will help you select areas of an image that it would be tricky to trace using the Marquee or Lasso tools, the tools to select areas based on color. When you're using the Magic Wand, you can change its sensitivity by changing the tolerance value along the top of the screen. A higher tolerance means lower sensitivity. When you're using the magic wand tool, click on parts of the image that you would like to add to. If you click on a part that you didn't want, hold down the Alt key in order to remove it. The magic wand tool is a bit more sensitive, so it's more helpful for fine edges. If you're trying to select large areas of space, the Quick Selection tool is a better bet. When you use the Quick Selection tool, you can change the size of your selector. Do this using the drop-down menu on the top of the screen. Once again, click and drag on the part of the image that you'd like to select. If you accidentally select areas that you didn't want, hold down the Alt key and run the mouse over those areas. Once you've selected the area you want, you can edit it in the same way you did for the tools we talked about earlier. You can also copy an area you've selected in order to paste it in another place in the image or in a different image. Go up to Edit, Copy, and then deselect the image by going to Select, Deselect. Now, go to Edit, Paste. The selected area will be pasted as its own layer in the document, and you can move it around and change its size as you please.